Adam, great to see you. Yeah, you too. In such a fun film, Playmobil. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, this character is probably the best one in the film as well. <laughs> but how easy or difficult was it for you to tap into Emperor Maximus? Because he was off the charts. Yeah, I, 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 I think when I first came into the recording session... Um, I was trying to do some more nuanced, subtle performance, and, and the director was like, no, let's take it all the way over the top. And, and we just kept pushing and pushing, and it was so much fun and full of joy and laughter that day. I, I had a blast with the director. And, um, yeah, there's no limit to how crazy Maximus is. You know, he is literally on, on 10 the entire time. Yeah, you just yeah. disappeared into that role as it well. It was so much fun. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's just like all these other voice animations you weren't in the studio with any of your other amazing Unfortunately, cast. Unfortunately, no. There's an amazing cast. And, and when I found out who else was in the film, and I was like, oh, wow. And, and so I hope that at some uh, premiere or event somewhere we'll get to interact with each other. That so would you be still great. haven't met them? No. no. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, singing the songs, though, in there, what's that like? Obviously very different to the normal music that we hear from you. Yes. It's, I mean, it's, what I loved about the whole project is that it's, it's really a musical. Yeah. It's, um, you know, like a classic musical, and this character is a it's not about his singing voice, it's about the character. So mm -hmm. it was really fun for me to sound ugly and, and insane as opposed to pretty, you know what I mean? Instead of, um, you know, trying to be contemporary pop star. And it was, it was Maximus, you know, and he, he is a ball of, of narcissism and uh, insanity and, and power and uh, Napoleon complex mm -hmm. um, and basically like a playground bully. Yeah. Uh, and I, I just got a kick out of him. I thought he was so funny. So different to who you are. I, I is, think so. Yeah. yeah, I think Very so. Different to you. Um, <laughs> obviously, the, Charlie in the, in the film has his issue with that he doesn't think Marla's adventurous anymore, right. which is why they go on this whole thing. Would you say that you are more or less adventurous than you, are, than you were when you were younger? Because I know for me, I've definitely got more adventurous when I got into my 30s. I, I definitely, I was a bit, you know scared of things uh, when I was in, uh, as a child um, and I think that I became braver into my adulthood mm. I definitely did I took more risks um, felt more confident yeah. you know uh, and then I, I think that I over the past like five or so years I've definitely like relaxed a bit oh, really? <laughs> I'm not quite as adventurous as I was maybe <laughs> 10 years ago um, but you know for good reason we're not going to catch you <laughs> skydiving or anything like that no, I, I, you know what? I do like adrenaline rushes, but I haven't, I haven't done the skydiving thing yet. Oh, that's the best thing ever. No, that kind of scares me. No, no, it's the best thing But ever. I'm not saying that I won't. Just never say never. <laughs> Good. I've done other things. You know, I've done zip lining. That's fun. That's yeah, fun. That's really fun. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Safe. Safer, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, obviously, Playmobil, we all know in this country, is such a huge toy anyway, which they've made into the film. How familiar are you guys with it in America? You know, it's funny. When I got the call, I was like, I wasn't totally familiar with the brand name, but then I started looking online at all the toys and I realized how many of them I had when I was a child. Oh. I, I, it was like such a wave of nostalgia that hit me. I was like, wait, I had that toy. And I had him and I had that character and that character. And what I love about Playmobil toys is that they're fully fleshed out characters. They have <laughs> accessories and outfits and hair and hats and glasses and all this stuff. And you can really like play dress up yep. with Playmobil toys. And, and I think that's why I gravitated towards <laughs> them when I was a kid. You know, I was a theater kid, always in a costume, make believe. Yeah. So having these, these toys that had this, these personalities clearly invented into their design, um, they were great. And what was uh, your favorite toy when you were younger? Because I'm still waiting for them to make a Polly Pocket film because I always <laughs> loved Polly Pocket. But for you, what was... I, I had a He-Man thing for a while. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember like really being into He-Man. And, and again, like I had kind of forgotten about it. And there was there's a documentary about that company that developed right. He-Man yeah. that's fascinating. And I remember watching it on a plane and going, oh my God, I had that. I had the Castle Grayskull. I had that. I remember that car. And I... I loved little action toys. That was, you know, I was yeah. a kid of the 80s. So that was hey, what it was all yeah. about. I know that. You know? Hey, there's a film coming out. So you should try and get in that. Yeah. You should try and the get in that. The human film. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, look, how much do you get sent 
scripts and all that? Because obviously you come from this theatre background and you've done Glee and you were a truck driver in Bo Rap. I know, not the biggest credit ever, but it was there. But how much do you get? I, in fact, in, uncredited. You know, oh, okay. it, was, it was like I popped onto set one day. Like, you want to be the trucker? Yeah, okay, why not? But how much do you get sent scripts and stuff like that? I, I, def I have an agent. We're working on looking for projects and, and things come up here and there. I mean, I think I'm in a specific kind of lane being a musician. Mm -hmm. Um, and when the right project comes up, hopefully another opportunity will, will magically appear. What's the dream role? I don't know. I don't know what the dream role is, but I would like to, I, I, I think doing something in a musical would be really interesting, something that allowed me to sing. Yeah. Um, I think that would probably be a good fit. Yeah. Um, but not necessarily only that. I mean, I, I, I like, I, I'm a big fan of television and film. I watch a lot, okay. and... I think it would be fun to be a part of a project where it was a little left of center or something really weird and out there. Yeah. That, that always, I'm always drawn to that kind of stuff.